public waiting room wasn't anywhere for me to go. The sign has impacted me from 1960 to today. When the women of the class of 1964 arrived at Spelman College in the fall of 1960, at 16, 17, and 18 years old, they found more than the gated, serene campus promising a good education, they found a movement, a movement ready for some foot soldiers. So these young women who had just graduated from high school a few months before answered the call for change. I called my parents and told them that tomorrow I'm going to be going to jail. What I will never forget is arriving at Riches and forming the picket line on one side of the street. And on the other side of the street, that was the Ku Klux Klan. Women were the ones with the most courage. And you got the word. The word was moving in spite of the word not supposed to be moved but we got it moved. It was written quickly because we were under pressure from the college presidents to put down our, our grievances, our complaints, the, the issues that we wanted to address. We wanted to end segregation, end racial discrimination. We had taken as much as we could take. Why do people hate me and for what reason they did not know me? Well, we had to look nice because Spelman had a uh, we had to look nice, so I had a dress code. You always had to look nice in stockings or you had gloves, maybe some of you had, you know, but you had to always look like a Spelman woman. I don't remember being afraid. I don't remember any fear. I remember determination. That's what I remember about it. And I'm gonna do it. So finally, they put us in the paddy wagon. So uh, at this point, I was frightened, but I had made a commitment. And when I was arrested, they took my mug shot. Maybe the news didn't capture it, but I felt good inside. They were willing uh, to, to stand firm for uh, their beliefs. And fortunately, it took that type of courage, in my opinion, to convince those in power to make the changes. There was a feeling of, of being in the moment, a feeling of, we, you know, everyone has to and I'm, when I say ha you will have to, as a black person, you, this is our opportunity to participate. Foot Soldiers, Class of 1964, is a documentary about women in the class of 1964 at Spelman College who, as college freshmen, participated in the largest coordinated civil rights protest in Atlanta's history. These willing souls were some of the foot soldiers who carried the Atlanta student movement through relentless picketing, sit-ins, kneel-ins, and other nonviolent demonstrations. Their participation changed their lives and the course of history. Foot soldiers, class of 1964, an Atlanta story that changed the world. This is their story.